It's me again, Andy from Bristol, and I'm on the original and best Seven Crossing. It's better than this one over here because it's got a cycle path on it. The numpties forgot the Fiat one. 21st century calling, it's not all about the car. Anyway, as the Godfather of Soul once said, take me to the bridge. Welcome to the Mendip Cycling Vlog. Ow! So good morning, welcome to another video. Excuse the heavy breathing. We're cycling up the hill at Lankill Lane in Wells. We're doing some Mendips gravel today. It's me and Mark. Uh, we were promised a dry day today after the forecast midweek, heavy downpours and torrential rain, thunderstorms. So we got away with that. So I'm not gonna complain. Just gonna get on with it and go see if we can fall off on some gravel. Knee update, they're good. I've rested them all week and I uh, went out for a spin on the tandem and it seemed to cure them, so hopefully no issues today. Right, so the next gravel section, I don't quite actually know where it goes, but it is a mend it climb. Uh, Mark's been up it before on a mountain bike. This is his first go on a gravel bike. He says it's a bit rocky down the bottom and we might be a bit slippy, so Fingers crossed, but <laughs> it's not a uh, one gravel section, one crash. Not nice and easy one-handed. No. Well, I managed this bit. Right, so that's the first bit navigated. Uh, the first bit was way too technical for me. I had to walk a bit, cycle a bit, walk a bit, struggle to get going again because the wheels just keep spinning where it's so wet and gravelly. Uh, this bit's a little bit flatter. We're coming up to uh, the Pennell Mast at the top of Bristol Hill outside of Wales. Uh, lovely way to get up Bristol Hill. Way better than the main road. <laughs> Although, probably need a mountain bike for that bottom bit, or a lot more skill than I've got. I should say that. Mark cycled it all. If you manage all of that then, Mark. Yeah, I'm uh, used to that though. Easy for a man of your skills. Yeah, on the mountain bike, it's fine. But you manage on the gravel bike. bike. Yeah, we're on the dark side, but used to the terrain. Where are we going, Mark? I couldn't see a track in that last field. It's an invincible single track. <laughs> and you just close your eyes and go. Um, which way? Uh, through the yellow flowers. Anywhere through the yellow flowers? Yeah, just go like that. Point. <laughs> just follow me, Darren. <laughs> Right, so we made our way over to Stockhill Woods now. That last section was amazing. First section was again a little bit technical. Mark disappeared in the distance. But we've just come through somebody's house, I think, to get to this track. And they were chasing us up the road. We had a big shake, so I do apologise. It's not what we meant to do. <laughs> but we didn't actually see the proper entrance. Uh, but we are in Stockhill Woods now. And heading over somewhere towards East Harp Tree. Right, so having had that guy shout at, at Stockhill Woods, I'm a bit, little bit sceptical as well whether we should be here where we are now. It did say private road, but Kamut did link up a, a load of bridleways, and um, we're heading over into some woods over there. So <laughs> I hope, hope we're not going to get into trouble. Anywhere, anywhere 
Yeah, I've been saved by a public bridleway sign, so we are on a bridleway. Yeah, that's the way. Keep going left. Trouble. Where are we going now? We're in trouble now. Man. <laughs> yeah, these bikes anyway. That looks a little bit more off road than I was hoping. <laughs> this one is pretty full down that way, mate. Yeah. Well, you got the skills. Right. I've got the bike, I just haven't got the skills to use it. I'll follow you. How did you enjoy that one, Mark? I, I think that's so far, I think it's brilliant. Yeah. It's, it's, that last, you, you could last little bit was a bit rocky for me. These, um, gravel bikes. These gra mine seems to be fine. How's yours? Mine's all right. My, my front wheel slipped on one of the bits down there, but I think yeah. I took the wrong line. That's more yeah. me than anything else. But no, that's coping way better than I thought it would. Yeah. yeah, this wasn't the scheduled stop, Mark, but never say no to a coffee. Right, so that was a really nice coffee at the coffee box. We are somewhere between Burrington Coombe that way and the main road back to... Yeah, it's top of Burrington Coombe. <laughs> right, we're currently slightly off route because there was supposed to be a bridleway just back along there, but it did say no bikes on the gate. So we've, uh, we've been that off. So we're just going to drop down now and then make our way up to... What's the tower called? Wireless Station. The Wireless Station. Um, which Mike thinks is a little bit more mountain bikey, so it might be hiker bike. We'll see. <laughs> Did I just call you Mike? Yes. <laughs> Mike from now on. <laughs> no, it's definitely Mark. Yeah. I apologise. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. <laughs> You can get through there? Yeah, ready? <laughs> After you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see you, Mark. You're in there somewhere. <laughs> this has got to be a first for me. Actually, unfortunately, it's not. This is the first time we've actually tried to ride it. Mark! Mark! Where are you, Mark? Class as mountain bike only, Mark. Wireless tower. Yeah, there's a better climb up to it, that's fine. <laughs> now, now I see. It's not this way, Darren. <laughs> hey, commute's never wrong, there's the gravel. Here we go. That's where we should have come up, that way there. Yeah, that's where we're going down. We're going down that way? Yeah, we should have come up that way. <laughs> Yeah, the wireless station, whatever it is. Yeah, we're going down that way. Oh yeah, and they've stung, cut, and itching. Trust, trust to be good for me. Every time that we fall in. This bit here is rideable, believe what, it or what, not. What, through the mud? Yeah, it's, it, it's quite stable. It's quite, you know, is not it, too bad. Is it better than the alternative route? those lot. Just go for it. The ones that just passed me. Yeah. Enough to know I didn't know enough. When is a gravel ride not a gravel ride? <laughs> There's no gravel, is there? <laughs> At the moment. We picked on a good one this way. Is that opening out now? The, the people I just spoke to said this was okay now to ride, but have you seen that? Not even close enough to know if it's real or a bluff. You love. Is this the highest point in the Mendix, Mark? Yes, it is. Yay! Yeah, and no rain. We got away with that, didn't we? Misty. Very clear picture. I mean, I, I've been really struggling for motivation to get out and cycle my local roads during the week. And I look forward to my adventure rides on the weekend because I love exploring. And this gravel bike and putting these tyres on this bike has opened up a whole new world of possibilities because I've been places today I never even would have thought of, of going to on a bike. And I'm just put a smile on my face. Even even that little lane there, lane. That, even that jungle back there was amazing. Uh, I had a right laugh coming up there. 
because it brings you to places like this that you just never would have gone to. There was a road that just comes straight up to where we came to that would have been a lot easier. <laughs> but you never know unless you're exploring. It's then give me the opportunity to go exploring locally again uh, to find the right path. <laughs> Bud Lane. It's Bud Lane. So you know where you are now? Yeah, I know where we are. Yeah. I know the Mendit Raceway is over there, but we're going back towards Chart House to find another gravel section. But that looks a little bit gnarly for the gravel bike. I think that might be um, mountain bike only. It is. You, you, it's, you have a hard job climbing up here on a mountain bike. So, okay, so we made our way over to Chart House. This next bit, I've never seen whether it's there or not, but I've seen Mark Gregory has ridden it. Thanks, Mark Gregor. I pinched this off one of your routes, uh, which should take us to Cheddar Gorge. So I don't know what it's going to be like. We will see. Can't be any worse than the jungle, is what I keep telling myself. <laughs> I've just shouted my lungs off to try and catch Mark because he was carrying on flying up Charterhouse. <laughs> but we're going that way. It, and it does look promising gravel. I was shouting I really and shouting way, and shouting. I thought we were going to go up to the junction at that No, way. we're going on that way. That looks like a bit of gravel. This is absolutely amazing. I've, I've lived around here and cycled around here so many times and this outstanding beauty. It's Velvet Bottom is what the signpost said, which we've got on our t-shirts. I didn't actually realize it was this. Wow, oh, <laughs> wow. I'm gonna put this away now because I am a novice and cycling one-handed is not a good idea. at this moment Mark knew <laughs> it was a long turn see after that last bit I'm disappointed you're not doing that bit this well I could but I, you know what I would die probably at the end of it <laughs> <laughs> gotta be honest Mark I thought the highlight of this ride would be cycling along the top of Cheddar Gorge which we're going to in a minute but this is this feels like we're on top of Cheddar Gorge this is incredible isn't it so it's still quiet amazing See this, I'm going to try this bit. Think about the times when we were young. Now look at the people we become. Tonight I understand you. Right, so Mark's just texting Mrs. Taylor to let him know he's going to be a couple of hours yet. So thank you, Mrs. Taylor, for lending me your husband today because we're having an absolute blast. This is the bit I thought would be the highlight. We're going to go up along the ridge over the top of Cheddar Gorge. So, wow, just wow. Oh, one on the ground in the puddle. Put your hands on my back, boy. So we've got the gorge one side and a view to the reservoir the other, Mark. It's just wow. Incredible up here, look. There's walks over there as well, look. There's somebody who stood right on the edge then. <laughs> Brave soul. And the gorge meanders down through there, the one that we normally cycle up. It's just seen it from a... Yeah, see Crook's Peak over there. The road down there. No, this is definitely hiker bike, Mike. Mark. I knew you called you Mike again. <laughs> It's because it, it, it's, right. it's it sounds like bike. I'll take, I'll take Mike, it's alright. <laughs> Mike or Mark? Oh, all the, you fancy today, mate. All the uh, rattling of my brain today over all this gravel and rocks is uh, shaking a few screws loose. This is definitely hiker bike, Mark. Yeah. 
my knee's not enjoying the walk. The good news is we're en route, but there's, uh, it is quite hard getting back down because there's a lot of hiker bike. I think in hindsight, we would go back the way we came if I were to do it again. <laughs> As he emerges from the hedge. <laughs> We're nearly there yet. This is hard work, Mark. <laughs> on these it is. I wouldn't even like to try and cycle up that on a mountain bike. No. Cool. Oh, so this is our last bridal way, Mark. But it's a bloody big climb. <laughs> last bridal way? Yeah. I prefer it flat. <laughs> your heart is my violin. Watching you sleep is comforting. Don't want to wake up. Wish that I was brave, but I've never been the one. Wish that we could stay like this, I makes this look really easy. It's just too steep and too technical for me. So I'm back to hiking a bike. But this is how it should be done. Right on me. Right, so I'm going to end the video there. Because that's the last of the gravel. We are back at the top of Cheddar Gorge. I don't know if you can see the glider in the background there. Just flying. Uh, that's been an amazing ride. A uh, little bit too difficult. A little bit of walking. A little hike a bike. So what have I learned? I need to change my pedals. I need some double-sided pedals. Because uh, clipping in and clipping out has been a bit difficult at times. But other than that, this bike absolutely copes perfectly off-road. These tyres, they just fill you with confidence. The Gravel Kings. How do you enjoy that, Mark? Brilliant. Oh, not Mike now then. <laughs> no, definitely Mark. Yeah. Mark in the jungle. Mark Tarzan Taylor. <laughs> Do you enjoy the jungle bit? Yeah. Now, yeah, now you're not getting stung or scratched. Right shirt for it. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. you couldn't see I me couldn't see you jungle. at all, no. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to send in your intros. I have no more. So if I don't get any more this week, there will be no more. So we will see you very, very soon in the next video.